I had a patient who I affectionately call Grandpa. I had been calling him Grandpa all week because he had a witty way of reminding me of a grandpa. He would chastise you, but then at the same time, he was very loving. I found out that his status had changed. He was no longer responsive. DNR, DNI, which is do not resuscitate, do not intubate. Early in the week he had been full cold, which means that had he stopped breathing, we would do everything in our power to bring him back. That immediately put fear into me because I have my own issues with dealing with death. So I, had, I kinda had to take a deep breath and get myself together and I had to coach myself through, you know, what are you going to do for this patient? Just because he's going to take his last breath today does not mean that he's not your patient. The last things that I remember them telling me in school, one of the last things that um, goes when you're dying is your hearing. So I knew he could hear me. So um, they have this thing on the floor, they call me the singing nurse. I walk in in the morning like, good morning, and I have this tune that I come in with. I grab my tech because she's also a performer. So we decided that we were just going to make things comfortable for him and we were going to bathe him up really good and we turned on the radio because there's a you know radio on the television and we just sang to whatever song came on. gotten very attached to Grandpa. I had grown accustomed to coming in and having him chastise me because I didn't move fast enough when he wanted extra cookies. I needed to be there. I needed to get over me and put myself out of that situation and hold his hand and help him. I think he, you know, if he could have spoken to me at that time, I think he would have said, you know, young whippersnapper, don't leave me. I think he would have, he would have told me that. So I just, I bit the bullet, I cried my tears, I blew my nose, and I was there. <laughs>